Hey, Perspectives viewers, how do you lead the next generation of hopefuls to enter the workforce? In a moment, I'll give you my answer. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up, share it with a friend, and a big thanks to all of you who subscribe to our channel. The third question I was asked as a panel member talking about leadership issues at the Georgia Environmental Conference was, how do you lead the next generation of hopefuls in the workplace? My presentation at the conference was titled Leadership for a Changing Workforce. So it was easy for me to identify this question is asking about Generation Y, the Millennials, and Generation Z, Post Millennials. And my answer was, I wouldn't treat them any differently than I would treat any new employee at a company. You first have to assess what they're bringing to your workplace. Now, we've got four generations in the workplace, and they are all very different. And what people are finding is these two generations are bringing to the workplace some stuff that they've never had in the workplace before, skills and talents that we've never seen before. And we've got to find a way to incorporate those into the plan so that we can take advantage of them as we move towards success. We're also finding that they are lacking some of the skills and talents that we used to see in all the generations that preceded them. So there are some gaps there. So you need to identify what are the skills and talents that they need. And if they don't have some of those, then devise a plan to get them those skills and talents. Training, whatever it is, coaching, mentoring, because you've got to set this person up for success. So my answer to that question is we got to pick them up where they are, just like we would pick up anybody coming to the workplace and assess what skills and talents they are bringing that we can take advantage of that maybe we haven't seen before. So that's going to mean modifying our existing plan and also assessing any skills and talents that they don't have that they will need to be successful. And again, creating a plan to make sure we give them those skills and talents so that they can be successful. In the next video, I'll answer the fourth question that they asked me as a panel member. Thanks for watching. Until then, as always, see ya.